hey cancer collective what's up y'all welcome to the channel welcome back i hope you all are doing amazing so let's do a love reading you versus them okay the readings have been really beautiful today so let's hope it stays that way for the cancer collective all right so let's get your feelings their feelings the connecting energy advice from spirit the outcome things of that nature and also messages from your person and this reading will be for those of you who are connected to someone or you have someone in mind this won't really resonate so much for singles because what do you have to compare and contrast it to <laughs> if you haven't met this person yet obviously if you just want to see like a future prediction and you you know just want to be entertained you can listen as well that's fine all right so let's see what is the connecting energy between you and them so we have a leo person showing up here king of wands they look good we got the queen of swords hmm okay so we have libra and leo energy this is interesting this is really interesting i feel like there's somebody in your energy that is really passionate about you cancer could be a leo doesn't have to be this person is actually loyal this person is actually a visionary they're a go-getter this person could be in the spotlight could be definitely very good looking and get a lot of attention they have a very optimistic attitude this is somebody though who strongly attracted to you there's passion here there's chemistry here this person sees a future with you this person thinks long term when it comes to you they could be really generous as far as giving you things taking you out splurging on you spoiling you like this is the kind of partner this person is but you two are not facing each other in the cards you're facing one way they're facing another i'm getting the vibe here that you cancer um, because the queens do the queens are influenced by water so they do have cancer influence because cancer is the sign that rules over the queens all of the queens have cancer energy okay well water energy and i'm just going to say cancer because you are the feminine um out of the the water signs you do represent the queens okay so anyway i feel like this queen of swords is you I kind of feel like you may be giving this person a cold shoulder right now for some reason. There is something on your chest, okay? You might have a bone to pick with them. They still look good. They could still definitely turn your head a little bit. But at the same time, you are coming across as a little bit disconnected from them. So let's see why. What is your energy? Yeah, the two of pentacles. You're definitely going back and forth in your head about, hmm, I, I don't know. The queen of swords is someone that's carefully considering you, okay? She's very head over heart. Some of you have put your feelings on the back burner. They must have done something. Let's see what this is. Capricorn energy could be a two-year relationship, a two-year age difference. The eight of wands. Some of you debate about reaching out to this person because there's something that you want to get off your chest. Could be a Sagittarius. So we have Capricorn, Jupiter, and Sagittarius, Mercury showing up here. Eight of Wands. That's very rapid action. It's like you're thinking before you speak, though. I kind of feel like you're like focused on priorities right now. There's some other things that have your attention, but there is something that you want to get off your chest to this person. You still feel attracted to them. There's a strong attraction. Eight of Wands is definitely a fiery attraction. Um, but I, I kind of feel like you're like, hmm, I don't know. Let's see what they feel. I also want to see what he's focused on. Okay, so the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Some of y'all have Libra in your chart. Maybe Taurus as well. And the Ace of Pentacles, this person love you. They love your dirty draws. And I ain't trying to say y'all draws are dirty, but I'm just saying if they were, they would love them. <laughs> okay, so we have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Libra energy showing up. Look, if there's a situation, let me see what this King of Wands, what is he focused on? Because his back is turned to you, your back is turned to him. He has to leave another situation. Or there could be distance between you. There's something else. What is this? He's in a period of transition and it looks like he's choosing you. This person's serious about you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. I kind of feel like this is like somebody that swept you off of your feet. Oh, they are so charming, charismatic, um, and they definitely are very good looking. I keep seeing that. All these cards are showing me somebody maybe with an athletic build, somebody tall, if it's a masculine. I mean, if it's a woman, whatever the shape is, a woman that you like, this person fits the bill. Okay, this person has it going on physically, for sure. And they're very confident. Like, this is a person that's hard to resist. But I do feel like, Cancer, there's something about you not... You're not rocking with something about this person right now. And it could be the fact that... 
Let me just see one more. Yeah, they have an attachment to someone else. It, it could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, an Aquarius person. Um, but yeah, there's someone else here. Mm -hmm. They have to end something that's been dragging on, y'all. You got the Nine of Wands to the Death card. Scorpio and Sagittarius energy. Something else has to end. And they know that it needs to end, whatever it is. They have put their they have put the last bit of effort that they have into it. They're worn out. And they need to just let it go. It could be happening in Scorpio and Sagittarius season. Over the next year, I see this person really making an offer to you. And maybe you having a baby with them. But um, let's see what the obstacles are. Just to see if I'm on the right track. Yep, a family. The Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups. And this person fantasizes about you a lot. Being with you. A Scorpio or Virgo for some of you. They could have been married for 10 years. Um, and then we have the High Priestess. Yep, the High Priestess is Cancer Energy. And guess what it represents? It represents the other woman. And you have the Empress on the table. When those two come out, they're both Divine Feminine. That lets me know. There's two Feminine Energies here. You also had a Queen of Swords. If it's a man, y'all understand there's no gender in Tarot. I'm just using the depictions on the card to suggest that it could be two women here. If it's two men, they're two men. That's okay as well. But there's, there's definitely a feeling of somebody fantasizing about you, being tempted by you. But there's another family dynamic here for some of you. This person really wants to build with you, but they have to let something else go first. And whatever this other thing is, I feel like there's still remnants of hope because they haven't gotten to the Ten of Wands yet. They're at the Nine of Wands. They're almost ready to let it go. Why, why are they holding on? Could be children involved. Let's see. Yep, they're anxious. The, the Nine of Swords could be a Gemini. What are they anxious about? The Four of Wands, which is a marriage card. They're, they're worried about disrupting the pattern, the norm, the routine that they have with someone else because there are probably children involved. And guess what's on the bottom of the deck? The sun and the moon, which means what's done in the dark is coming to the light. So that's the truth. The sun represents the truth. Mm -hmm. So this person, they really battle with these feelings that they have for you. We have Leo, we have Pisces, Cancer, Aries, and Gemini showing up here. It could be a community of people. It could be family. They're worried about disappointing. You had a temperance card trying to keep the peace with people, but they need to walk away. You got the strength card and the eight of cups. This person is trying to do the right thing by everybody involved, and that can't work. You know, let's see. What's the best course of action? king of swords yeah they just gonna have to tell the truth could be an aquarius honest conversation and then we have the three of swords which is divorce libra energy they have to tell the truth to this third party that they want out what is the outcome here over the next three to six months four pentacles the full capricorn aquarius what else the emperor <laughs> Got the empress on the table. They see you as the empress and they want to be the emperor. This person, what's going on with this four of pentacles? Aries energy is here. Aquarius and Capricorn. Four of pentacles is the judgment. They're making a judgment call on something that's been holding them back. They're thinking about the long term. This is a person who doesn't want to just kind of jump into something without thinking it through. Because again, they want to be fair to everybody involved. But the death card is at the bottom now. With the lovers, yeah, this is the ultimate choice and the hangman. That's sacrificing someone, rejecting someone, the four of um, cups, to start a new love, the star. This is something playing out at the top of the year for some of you. That is three to six months from now. This could be a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Pisces, a Cancer, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So it looks like this person is saying that you are their choice. Let's get some messages from them to you. I'm sorry for giving you false hopes. Wow. Did we talk about false hopes? Because the Seven of Cups is here. I can't remember if I said it or not, but that does represent high hopes. Okay. I love you more than I will ever let on. No one... I'm sorry. Yeah, no one is ever going to replace how I feel about you. And then bottom of the deck we have, I want to protect you from myself. Wow. Wow. So it does look like they're they're doing that because they know that they have to close out another cycle first. Yeah, but it looks like this person over the next year I'm seeing is making a decision to walk away from something else, y'all. And that's for those of you who feel like you want to wait. I definitely feel some of you are on the fence with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles talks about juggling. It talks about multitasking, a balancing act, going back and forth, focused on priorities. First things first kind of energy, okay? 
All right, so that is what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.